Kilkenny. It's a destination bursting with flavours. Tune in to our Taste Kilkenny videos as we meet some of Kilkenny's great chefs and discover their secret ingredient, which is great food from local producers. Let's meet some of the people of Taste Kilkenny as we savour the experience at the Lady Helen restaurant in Mount Juliet Estate. Hello Siobhan, you're very welcome to Mount Juliet. Thank you, Des. Des, this place is incredible. Yes, Siobhan, it's absolutely beautiful. Take a seat here and I'll tell you some more about Mount Juliet. There must be some history behind this building. Home of the Earls of Carrick from 1700. First Earl of Carrick, Somerset Hamilton Butler, built a house here in 1757 and named it after his beautiful 16-year-old bride, Juliet Boyle. He was 19 and she arrived here with a purse of £5,000. They eventually sold it on to the McCalmonts. Mm -hmm. McCalmonts sold it on to the Mannies, who turned the house into a hotel and commissioned Jack Nicholas to build this wonderful World Championship golf course. This house here, we still have our 32 beautiful rooms here in Mount Juliet House and with a, an award-winning spa and a Michelin star restaurant run by our executive chef, Ken Harker. I'd like to meet him. We shall. Ken, what an honour to meet one of Kilkenny's Michelin star chefs. Thank you very much. We uh, were lucky enough to retain our staff four years four years in a row now, so we're very blessed, one of the few places in Ireland to have one. We are very lucky and very grateful indeed. Now you didn't always intend to be a chef, you started off as an architect student. I did, I was studying architecture for a while, I went back in the northeast and uh, I got a job as a kitchen porter to earn some extra money as a student and I just fell in love with the kitchen and I just had to be there so I, I gave up being an architect and decided to be a chef. You haven't completely left it behind because a little no. birdie told me there's a spirit level in your fridge. We do. We like to make sure all the shelves are level, all the plates are level. So if we're setting anything or any terrains, everything is, is precise and the same. Now you're originally from Northern England. So how does Kilkenny rank as a food destination? Kilkenny is definitely up there as one of the finest, in, especially in Ireland. That People automatically think Dublin, but Kilkenny has everything to offer that Dublin has to offer. Okay. From fine dining to casual food to great pubs and nightlife. Do you use local producers on your Michelin star menu? We do indeed. We're very lucky to have a lot of local suppliers that we do use and uh, they're all just down, literally down the road. So we're very blessed and it makes my job a lot easier. Well, what are you going to cook for us today? Today we'll be cooking Kilkenny Rosé Veal, uh, one of the only suppliers of Rosé Veal in the country. Mm -hmm. And we're lucky enough to have them on our own doorstep. And we'll be using organic veg from Riversfield Farm, which is again just literally down the road. And we'll be using his rainbow chard, which is banging season. Lovely. And there's a luxury of truffles in there, there as is, well. There is. There's a small bit of truffle just to, just to finish it off. Beautiful. Can't wait. Hi, Jack. Hello, Siobhan. We're very lucky to catch you on your delivery here today. Can you tell me where exactly is Rosé Veal based? Where's your farm in Kilkenny? Our farm is based in Wine Gap and it has been in our family for 300 years and we were producing Kilkenny Rosé Veal for three years. Okay, so what type of products do you produce besides the cut of meat now that Ken is going to cook here today? A veal calf is very similar to a beef animal, so all the cuts that you would conventionally associate with a beef animal are available in veal. Uh, it, Kilkenny Rosé Veal is available nationwide through LaRousse Foods. Where can consumers find out information about you? If you visit our website, you can see a wide variety of information to do with how our calves are reared, our welfare systems, and a wide selection of recipes um, that people might like to try at home themselves. So I think Ken is ready for his delivery. Okay. Okay, so today we're gonna to cook Kilkenny Rosé Veal with the roast onion puree, rainbow chard, a little bit of truffle, and salsify. Okay, now we're going to cook the veal. Here we have a, a fillet of veal. It's been trimmed up with all the sinew. It's been rolled. Just move it around, it'll stop it sticking. Into the pan, we're going to add a little bit of garlic and a little bit of rosemary. And what you're looking for is looking for a nice caramelization. And at this point, we can add another, another knob of butter and that'll just start to foam. And then you want to get the flavor of the rosemary and the garlic into that butter. And then you're looking to put all that foam and butter on top of the veal. OK, 
Okay, now all we have left to do now is play it up. Our meat is nice and pink, we'll allow that to rest while we play it up. So we'll put our onion puree on first. Our wilted tops of our rainbow chard, still got the nice colour. Just to cut the meat, just one nice clean slice down the middle. Keeps it nice and pink. Just finish it with a little bit of sea salt. Plate. A garnish of brioche, just sitting nicely on there. A few nice dots of the truffle, and a bit of, just to sauce it up. There we go. Well, there you have it. Fine dining made with local produce at the Lady Helen.